Mouse Listener Events. Hi, I'm Karen and I've created this video for Georgia College and State University. In this video, we'll be discussing the Mouse Listener class. We'll talk about the different interfaces that you can implement to use the Mouse Listener class and also talk about mouse adapters. Java allows you to create listener classes that handle events generated by the mouse. You can create a mouse listener class and or a mouse motion listener class. The mouse listener class must implement the mouse listener interface. Remember, implementing an interface means that you are required to override all methods specified by the interface. These are the methods required by the mouse listener interface. They are all public void methods that accept one parameter, a mouse event that we're going to call E. There's a mouse pressed method, mouse clicked, mouse released, mouse entered, and mouse exited. The mouse pressed method is called when the mouse cursor is over the component and the mouse button is pressed. The mouse clicked method is called when the mouse button is pressed and released without moving the mouse when the cursor is over the component. The mouse released method is called when the button is released after it has been pressed. The mouse entered method is called when the mouse cursor enters the screen area belonging to the component. And the mouse exited method is called when the mouse cursor leaves the screen area belonging to the component. Notice that each method accepts a mouse event object as an argument. The mouse event object contains the data about the mouse event. Two mouse event methods that we'll commonly use are getX and getY. These methods return the X and Y coordinates of the mouse cursor when the event occurs. Once you create a mouse listener class, you can register it with a component using the add mouse listener method. The second class that we discussed was the Mouse Motion Listener class. The Mouse Motion Listener class must implement the Mouse Motion Listener interface. The methods required to override from the Mouse Motion Listener interface are Public Void Mouse Dragged and Public Void Mouse Moved, both accepting a mouse event called E. Mouse Dragged is called when the mouse is dragged or when the button is pressed and the mouse is moved while the button is held down. Mouse moved is called when the mouse cursor is over the component and is moved. So we'll now talk about the mouse adapter classes. What if the code that you're working on does not require you to handle every event that the mouse can generate? In this case, you can use an adapter class to override only the methods that you are interested in. To do this, you need to extend an adapter class. The two adapter classes to choose from are Mouse Adapter and Mouse Motion Adapter. These adapter classes have already implemented the Mouse Listener and Mouse Motion Listener interfaces, respectively. This means that they have already overridden all the methods required with empty methods, allowing you to only override the methods that you need. So here we have an example code. I've named it my mouse. We extend a JFrame and implement the mouse motion listener. Now remember the mouse motion listener has two methods. It's the mouse dragged method and the mouse moved method. We'll get to those definitions in a second. We have imported all the packages that we need to import. All I do in my constructor is I set up my JFrame and inside my JFrame I create this panel called panel and I add to the panel my mouse motion listener by using the add mouse motion listener method and I pass this to it because we're going to be looking at this class. So on to my method. As you can see I have my methods listed um, for both methods required by the mouse motion listener interface. My mouse dragged method um, the definition is empty and that's because I actually don't want to do anything with this code when my mouse is dragged. But I still need to include it, like we discussed earlier, because it is an interface and I have to list every method, um, even if it has an empty definition. So what I'm concerned with is what happens when I move my mouse. So when I move my mouse, what I want to do is I want to get the Y coordinates and I want to set the text to moving down. Um, and 
that's that's if e dot get y is less than the current y. So we're checking to see if the cursor is moving down. If it is, we display moving down. If it's not, if it's greater than the current y, then that means our cursor is moving up. So we're going to set this field to display moving up. And then the next thing I want to do is um, get my current y so that when I move my cursor again, I can tell whether we're moving up or down now. The last thing I did is have a main method and created a new instance of my class so that it will run the JFrame. Compile it and run it. And here's my JFrame. You can see it says location of mouse. As soon as my mouse enters the screen, it should display either moving up or moving down. I'll first move down. And now I'll move up. And I can do it faster and it'll keep up with me. So that's an example of the mouse motion listener. So here's an example of the mouse adapter classes that we talked about. Here I extended the mouse adapter class, not the mouse motion adapter. The mouse adapter um, already implements the mouse listener class. So those are the five um, different methods. But here we, we don't have to define all of them since we're using the adapter. Again, I imported everything that I need and I used the extends, not the implements. I had to create a JFrame object since Java will not let us extend multiple classes. Um, inside here, I have my constructor. I set up my JFrame and the same thing as the last one to the panel, I add my mouse listener. Same thing. And down here you'll notice I only have two methods declared. I have mouse entered and mouse clicked because that's all I'm concerned about. When my mouse enters the panel, I want to display the X and Y where it entered. And when I click inside the panel, I want to display the X and Y. I'm not concerned with the other methods of the mouse listener like mouse pressed, mouse released, and mouse exited. So I'm going to run this. Pull this over, it says location of mouse, and where I entered, you can see it says the X and Y coordinates. And here I'm going to click. There's coordinates, click again. And so that's an example of using the mouse adapter class. I hope this video has helped you understand what a J applet is and help you learn how to create them on your own. Good luck!